what's poppin' everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. So today I have my street scooter and we're gonna be teaching you guys some of the easiest street scooter tricks you can learn. I don't actually think I'm a park or a street rider, I kinda think I'm in the middle because I mean I can do both on both types of scooters. And if you're into that stuff, this is actually a Jesse Carter deck and that is made on the Mad Gear website. So if you guys want one of those decks, there's a link in the description, you can use code BUY and save 10% off. But the park is basically empty, so we're gonna take advantage of that and then I'm gonna show you guys the easiest street scooter tricks you can learn. Now before we get started, go do yourself a favor and subscribe, it's free, it's a W, it's literally, I'm telling you, you're never gonna be disappointed if you subscribe. Let's get started. Here are some of the easiest street scooter tricks you can learn right now. Okay, so there's a couple things before you actually try and learn some street scooter tricks that involve your scooter that you should know. Number one is obviously you gotta be comfortable with it. If you're not comfortable with it, then uh, that's probably where you wanna start. Now what I have learned over the course of like nine to 10 years is a wider and longer deck definitely makes grinds easier, especially if it has a flat bottom like this. So it's completely flat right here. So basically everything you touch is gonna be slid on. This guy is six inches wide by 23 inches long. So it's definitely, uh, it's not small, okay? But because it's so wide, it makes it really easy for 50s and it's square in the front and in the back so you can do crooks and nose blunts and 5-0s. The 5-0 thing is probably my most important one. And also don't go to anything crazy. Don't try any of these tricks on a massive 20 stair rail or a ledge or a freaking and don't just keep it chill. Before we do anything make sure you wax your deck. This deck has already been waxed. You can see it's literally red. So you're looking to learn some easy street scooter tricks. You have come to the perfect place. So number one is probably one of my favorites and I'm actually super super good at this and there's two versions of it. Manual and nose manual. A manual is basically like a wheel you just balance on your back wheel and hold the front wheel above the ground and it just doesn't touch the ground and you kind of just manual like that. And you're gonna start with one foot. So basically the best way I can teach you to do this is have your dominant foot on and your non-dominant foot off. Try and learn it with one foot and use your other foot for balance and then eventually you can put both feet on and it just looks a little bit better. So the first main key to learning how to manual is just trying to do it in place and literally it's exactly what it feels like. You just have to get used to that comfortable point. And then hang five or nose manual. Hang five just means only one foot is on basically like the beginning part of learning how to manual that tricks a little harder you just have to find that balance point try and do it in a standstill and just like try and figure out where that balance point is and just work your way up to get into that balance point and then eventually you'll slowly be able to roll into it and then just hold it for a little bit at a time and then keep going and you'll basically be able to hang five forever so those are two of the easier tricks that you don't actually have to grind anything with the next two are feeble and 50 which are effectively all the same thing except for a little bit of tweaking so feeble is when you grind a ledge but your front wheel is over top of it and your back wheel is behind it and basically the back end of your deck grinds. And a 50-50 basically when you only grind the side, so neither wheels are touching the ledge at all, and you're much more likely to miss a 50 grind, which is why it's cool, but also sketch. And it's not terribly likely that you'll miss the grind, as long as you jump high enough, you should be good. But do not try and learn this trick on a rail, try and learn it on a ledge, because there's a safe spot, because if you overdo a 50 on a rail, you're kind of dead. Oh, and if you don't know this, you can also do 50s and feebles on quarter pipes, like on the coping behind. Oh gosh, geez, I almost fell. Yeah, so I actually think learning a feeble on a quarter is probably easier than learning it on a ledge you don't have to jump you kind of just ride up the ramp and grind the coping so yeah 50s and feebles are very much possible on absolutely anything but they're probably the most simple street tricks you can learn speaking of which if you want to add something to make it a little bit more hard but look a lot cooler is add a 180 so for example if you're doing a backside feeble or a backside 50 I would do a front side 180 out it looks cool and it's way easier than doing the other direction spin 
in. So if you're doing a front feeble, you're gonna back 180. If you're doing a back feeble, you're gonna front 180. Same with 50-50 grinds. Because trust me, if you're doing a back feeble, back 180, you gotta spin a lot more and it's just, it's a little harder. And to the naked eye, it basically looks the exact same. Okay, so those are the grinds you can do on a ledge. Next ones you can do on a rake. Simple board slides, front board, back board, that's really it. You wanna make sure you're very comfortable with grinding ledges before you do this. And then you're gonna find a small rail, basically as small as you can find that you're comfortable with because you don't wanna try this on anything huge. So make sure you find a rail that's not too rusty, not too slippery, just so you can now get used to it. And the main key is to have your feet spread apart, kinda like this, not too close though. You're gonna wanna come at the rail at a slight angle depending on which side you're comfortable with. And make sure you lean not too far forward, but not back at all. Do not lean back, lean a little bit forward and try and keep your balance. And start small with the rail. Don't try and grind the whole thing, just try and grind the very end of it really. Lean forward, have your feet spread apart a little bit and kinda commit to the rail and jump at it at a small angle. Okay, so now this next one is definitely gonna impress your friends if you can get it right and it's called a Smith grind. It's basically the exact opposite of a feeble. So instead of your front wheel hanging over the ledge, your back wheel is gonna hang over the ledge. And this one's super easy. You can actually do feeble and then Smith. You could do Smith feeble, feeble Smith, just straight Smith, it really doesn't matter. It's the exact same concept. And this trick you really only do on ledges and coping. You can't really do it on a rail. I mean, I guess you could, but it's gonna be really hard. But it's gonna be easiest on a ledge like that. Or something with sharp coping like this so you can actually lock the front of your deck. And unlike the board slide, you wanna come at this trick kinda straight. So you wanna ride up to it, basically parallel to where you're gonna grind, and then you just kinda just back your back wheel over the ledge and you grind it. And if you can already feeble, this is gonna be super easy and it'll take you like two seconds. And you can really do it on anything except for really rails, but like I said, you can do it on a rail, but it's not really easy. Okay, so now you know how to board slide, feeble, smith, and do a bunch of other tricks. There's two more that I really, really wanna show you guys. I don't actually know what to call the first one. You really just do board slides a bunch. Instead of doing a board, hot, back lip, you do board, hot, board, hot, board. It, it, just watch. You're gonna wanna approach the rail the exact same as you did the regular board slide and just jump on top of the rail a couple of times. It looks cool, it's fun, and it sounds goofy. And literally everyone around you will laugh, trust me, just try it. So I don't even know what you call that, but the next one is called a 5-0. So if you can manual and you can 50-50, you can do this. Now I'd recommend you have at least a five inch wide deck because anything under that, it's gonna be dead, it's gonna be hard. But using the back end of your scooter, literally this part, you're effectively gonna 50 and just manual. So manual in a grind. And you're gonna start with just the end of the ledge, kind of like learning how to board slide and just work your way up. But make sure you don't lean too far back, but you also have to lean back enough to the point where your front wheel actually stays in the air. This is just like a feel it out trick. There's not much of a technique and go at your own pace. And I also definitely don't recommend doing this on anything except for a ledge or a square rail because a round rail learning this is gonna be so sketch. Like start from here and just chink it. And then eventually obviously you'll be able to do the whole ledge. This one is probably one of my favorites and absolutely is a crown pleaser. It's called a hurricane. And just like all these other grinds, you can do them any direction you want. Doesn't matter what way you feel comfortable with, it works. So you're gonna wanna approach it like a board slide and turn your scooter and your body almost 90 degrees to the point where the front and the back wheel lock. And then to get out of it, you effectively turn the other direction, the opposite way you got into it, and hop out. This one takes a little bit to actually learn because a lot of people just don't all the way fully lock. After some time, just like all these other tricks, you will lock in and it'll feel right and you'll roll away like it was easy. So here's every variation of Hurricane that I can do. There you go, even though I ate the freaking ground, that hurt. There's a bunch of easy street scooter tricks you can learn. Yeah, that's pretty much it, I'll catch you next time. Later.